Hey, my friends, it is Trucker Ray from Sparks, Nevada. That's right, I'm over at a place called Velocity uh, Truck Center, I believe it's called. Uh, this is, um, you've only been in this building, I think, here two or three months. But uh, we're here because we're getting our, yeah, our check engine light check to see whether or not it's um, a phantom code or if it's still active. And they have a really nice little driver lounge in here, a little place to park over there. And also I can, got a nice desk here. I can work on my video, which I'm doing. I'm just adding the music to it now. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that uh, code is um, not active anymore and we can get out of here. I uh, just found out where I'm delivering this load. Not going to be looking forward to it. It's called the Italian Restaurant something. Anyway, it is an actual restaurant I'm delivering this to in the middle of downtown Edmonton. Oh, yeah. I'm really thrilled about this. And uh, especially this time of the year. So I looked at Google Images, and uh, yeah, you got to go, you got to find your way down the back alley, and then they unload you with a pallet jack. I'm not concerned about that. I just want to make sure I can get out of there. So I'm going to have to phone them and ask them how I get into that back alley. Is it the front side of the building or the back? Always make sure you check with them. Just don't assume you know the way in there because... When I looked on Google Images, I can see the tire tracks of the truck, uh, where it comes out. So I'm assuming I know which way it goes in. So we'll, we'll deal with that later. But you know what? It just brings back the days of glory of LTL days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I wish I had one of these chairs in my truck to work on my videos. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. It's not so comfortable anymore, you guys. Uh, being hunched over on your, on your bunk uh to try to get these videos done it's just not very pleasant so when i have an opportunity like this where i have a nice desk and a chair i take advantage of it but uh, i also wanted to mention to you guys my good friend barry barry uh, trucker barry um the other day he took a bit of a spill in front of his house i guess they were trying to move some vehicles and uh he was walking along the sidewalk and uh, he twisted his ankle and he tore some ligaments and everything um very painful situation for him he's now got on a boot uh, or he's going to be getting one or he's got one now it's like it's like a ski boot and he's got to walk with a cane for a bit so it could take a couple weeks for that to heal so if you could my prayer family out there if you could have him in prayer that god would heal his foot quickly because while he's doing this he may be able to go back and still drive but he'll be just driving BC Alberta. And right now he's on a route where he's delivering to the PV Marts in Western Canada. And those are nice routes because he doesn't have to deal with the Rockies. Problem is, is that he has to get out and help. It's a driver assist delivery, right? But he can't do that while he has the issue with his foot. So, and we all know how dangerous it is to drive from Alberta to Vancouver during the Rocky Mountains and all those very inexperienced uh, crazy drivers on that highway. So please keep Barry in your prayers that God would heal him quickly where he can get back on his PV Mart uh, run. So there you have it. I appreciate that very much. All right, gang. Well, um, it is a gorgeous day out here. They are expecting some really bad weather to roll in here tonight. I'm just hoping that whatever issue is with my truck... They can clear it. I, I'll bet you anything they're going to tell me what sensor it is. We know what sensor it is. And then they're probably going to say something to the effect of, well, we just did a park to reach in and everything's okay. Because that's what happened last time. And then two weeks later, we're having the same problem again. And I got a feeling when we get back to Langley, they're going to replace that sensor where we don't have this problem anymore. But uh, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. Anyway, gang, that's all I got for you. Uh, this update from Sparks, Nevada, Trucker Ray.